Now this is content. Dear President John Carver, it's been a while since you heard from me, I bet. But I got a special message for you. A message about a lovely little man named Pro Hunter. Oh, Pro Hunter, why won't you come back to me? Anyway, as I was saying, yeehaw and all that, and I think you should give Ford Zim yuck to my little boy Pro Hunter, since he was so special, capturing it with all his pro last magic. <laughs> yeehaw? Yeehaw? There we go. So, it's now the property of Texas. I need to leave one man inside so that it can't technically be retaken. Uh, who's it going to be? Camp Defender. How appropriate. Pop in there and defend the camp for a bit. <laughs> I'm off home for a cup of tea with the lovely wife. I'm, I'm, I'm not your wife, Pro Manta. No, no, sorry, I was, I was talking about someone else. Yes, I, I, I met this lovely Southern Belle. I, I know the Southern Belle is your alternate personality, Pro Manta. Oh, fucking shit. You're not going to let me have this one, are you, you mirror? I see so much of myself in you. <laughs> Pro Hunter, stop doing that ridiculous voice. <laughs> Take your hands off me. These pros will make a fine addition to my collection. We've got quite a few pros in our little pro collection now. That's pretty nice, isn't it? That's pretty nice. <laughs> what do I do with my pro collection? How many have we got now? 61 pros in my ranch. <laughs> You've got to ranch the pros. If you breed them in captivity, they're much more docile. That's what I found. My true love has been restored to me. I know happiness again. I wait in the Siberian waste of Texas for her to agree to be my girlfriend. Going to be waiting a long time, Pro Hunter. <laughs> and I'll wait until the end of the world. Which may actually be quite soon because of the great disease that spread over the land. Pro Hunter, please, please shut up. But you see, we're going to get attacked by the bloody commies, so we have to keep morale up by singing in the camp. Oh, we're going to kill the pros. We're going to kill the pros. What the fuck? 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 I received a message. I opened it. Mmm, smells of chicken. <laughs> I was most pleased to hear your valiant efforts in the capture for Jim Yak. In fact, I was so pleased I decided to send you this bag, a bag of poison and the news that I fucking hate you still. <laughs> Lots of ironic love, President John Carver. So he sent me some cash, but uh, he has taken personal claim to the fort. A shame. But the fort is going to be attacked, so I want to see if the enemy AI can work out how to get through the door if we just sit inside. If they ever bother to attack it. I have to pay for bloody accommodation. I'm sitting in this fort to guard it from the communists, and bloody President John Carver's making me pay! Pay to sleep in his goddamn beds! <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta see now, son, those beds ain't free. <laughs> you gotta pay! These beds are going to fall to the bloody Communist Reich any second now. Beds ain't free. Everything's stupider in Texas, you see. Oh. They say the legendary Prowl Hunter is inside the wall. I am not attacking while Prowl Hunter is inside that wall. No, neither am I. See? See? You see, I can even do the voice. That means it must be true. I convinced my troops thus. And morale was raised. What's this? What's this? President Carver's given... Oh, some bloody Lieutenant General Jenkins has got control of that village up there. Oh, Jenkins moving in next door to me, are you? You'll find I'm a most impetuous neighbor, Jenkins. <laughs> yes, you see this Nazi machine gun? I've grafted it onto my arm. I found that I needed it so often that, that I best remind myself to never put it down. <laughs> For days we waited. The proles dancing their foul war dance outside the walls, unable to work out how to get in. <laughs> I had to use prole magic just to open the goddamn door. I'm not quite sure how I even did it in the end. I blacked out before the door even opened. I see you haven't prayed to the god of poverty as hard as I. What did you just say, Pro Hunter? I said, I said something about how rich I am, of course. You must have completely misheard me and interpreted it in the exact opposite fashion. A classic problem. A classic problem, I say. 
Your voice is changing, bro. <laughs> My voice is not changing. <laughs> it's that Texas air, you see. Mm, that sweet, freezing cold Texas air <laughs> does wonders for the lungs. Are they? Are they going to? I, I don't think they're going to. I'm going to run out of food sitting in here. They're legitimately sieging me out. They're doing an actual siege. We're actually trapped because we can't get through those armies. Uh, Texas, Texas, could you help us out? Why don't we try another tactic? <clears throat> Go away. No, they're still there. No prowls allowed. Attention, this is a prowl-free area. Excuse me, sir. What do you want? Uh, uh, I'm just here to tell you that uh, uh, you're wanted in Texas. <laughs> I've always wanted in Texas. I'm a southern belle, don't you know? Anyway, you fuck off. Now where was I? Pr uh, prowls, prowls, prowls. Out, out, out. Prowls, prowls, prowls. Out, out, out. Go on. Sling your hook. <laughs> Be gone with you. I'm bloody starving to death in here. If you don't leave, you might actually win. So go on. Play for it. There's just not sportsmen like They're charging me bloody 21 dinars a night to sit in these bloody freezing cold beds. Is this what they call southern hospitality? I think not. This sport deserves to fall to the bloody commies. Oh, what do you want, Rolf? Uh... <laughs> Ralph, why are you so angry at the fact we didn't go to join the battles in Texas? We're fucking besieged in this goddamn Texan fort, trying to fight for them, Ralph. Just popping down the shops, don't, don't fight, don't start the battle without me, I'm just popping down the bloody shops. Right, what do we got here? Uh, a swatch of crowd, that's not what I want because our men won't bloody eat it. Okay, as punishment, eight of you have to come and be my meat shields. <laughs> don't worry, we won't eat you, the meat part is a figure of speech, unless... No, 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 don't worry, don't worry, I won't finish that train of thought uh, while you're still in the room. All right, no, if you communists wouldn't mind, I'll just, there we go, just let me in. I'll close the door behind me, you see, you're not, you're not allowed in. You see, it, it, you have to be invited in, invitation only, it's like vampires, only with bloody crazy Texas presidents. 23 dinars a night, the bloody rates have gone up since that last came up. Well, you see, you see, with the siege and all, we, we felt we had to increase our rates. Oh, really? You thought the desirability has increased, so I better put the prices up with too many bloody tourists. Maybe I can bait the pros to come inside. You pros out there, uh, I would like to announce to you that we're, we're having a special offer here inside the fort. A special offer on dirty rags and diseased potatoes. Yes, your favorite. Uh, in fact, they're bloody free. They're free. Free ranks. <laughs> free diseased potatoes. Very prole who attempts to storm this fort in the next 24 hours. <laughs> they can all be yours. Comes with a side ordering of grenades, I heard. <laughs> you won't find a better deal anywhere in Siberian Texas. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, look at that. Everyone's declaring war on the Nazis again. Well, you could at least fuck off and do that as well. I don't know what you folks are doing here. Nothing to see here. Move along, move along. The sale's over. We've eaten all, all the rags and we're wearing the diseased potatoes now, so... If you wouldn't mind fucking the fuck off, that would be most cordial of you. <laughs> we'll just leave them to it. Hey, look at this. Look at this. This the actual, like, Texas army came over. Didn't expect that. Johnson. Oh, this is the leader. This is their strategist. Wow, I didn't, didn't know you were here. Do you want to go down to the other fort? I can actually tell him. Can I suggest a course of action? We're under attack. You should ride towards Fort Zimniak. Sorry, I've got to attend to my own business at the moment. You see, see this little hole I've dug in the ground? Oh, I'll tell you another time. <laughs> Never mind, then. Well, well, well. Well, suck my cufflings and call me Dutch if it isn't the bloody Texans. They've finally... Finally started fighting the pros. <laughs> After everything I've done for them, they finally realized there's only one reason that Texas is in the middle of Siberia now. <laughs> you think we're here for the bloody weather? <laughs> Actually, we probably are here for the oil. I expect there is quite a lot of oil, but that aside, that aside, it does appear that Texas is finally getting in on the action, and we will certainly help out. We need to encourage this. We can finally break the siege of what you call that's been going on for the last 500,000 years. Let them go forwards, man. Every everyone just wait here. Wait here a second. That guy's on fire. Hey, hey, excuse me, sir. 
<laughs> Please allow me to partake of your warmth. A white army volunteer. He's got a flaming club. Some sort of penguin hat. Oh, no, it's just a cap. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I thought you were a penguin. Is that racist? <laughs> Damn you whites. Always looking like penguins. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yes, we'll just let the Texans go and fight this battle. Headshot. Delivered zero damage. Oh, we'll fuck you too, then. <laughs> oh, we'll fuck you too. <laughs> They've got bloody Superman among their ranks. <laughs> they are brawls, after all. And aren't all brawls Superman in their own way? Who said that? <laughs> No, 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 no. We know. We know the truth. We know the truth about brawls, don't we? Do we know the truth about brawls? What is the truth about brawls? <laughs> I don't think I'm willing, willing to learn the truth about brawls. Now you shall learn the power of Texas. <laughs> That's right, boy -os. <laughs> What? A uh, Texas boy born and bred <laughs> in the valleys of Wales, don't you know, boy -o? I'll have a little sing song. Oh, my lovely bonny girl. I'm also from Scotland. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Where am I from? That's good. Everybody died. Right. Good to see you here, Pro Hunter. No, it's good to see you here, Mr. Johnson. Oh, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you liked hunting proles as well. <laughs> Let me give you a gold star. Oh, I see you've already got one. Your mother must be proud. There we go. Oh, my God. Do we have a space for their 500 revolvers? Oh, we actually do. We'll take a few. We'll take a few just as a memento. We don't need this. Right. Now, th there's like a billion of them there, so that we'll just leave them to die. Now, I had this idea. I had this idea. I realized that we might actually be able to take another fort from the proles using the fact that my guys get wounded more than killed. So if we just attack them, oh god, loads, if we just attack them in multiple waves, getting everyone wounded, then retreating, and then coming back in and fighting again, we could eventually wear them down. Human wave attack! <laughs> now there's a truly bourgeoisie strategy. Anyone who gets shot, well, we give it a plaster, <laughs> and then we ask to get shot again. Ready, boys? First, oh, the, the actual army's here. You'll never take me alive, Zaitsev. Oh, I suppose you'll have to kill me then. Come to think of it, that line isn't very intimidating, is it? <laughs> How is that supposed to be intimidating? I'm not quite sure. Right, bloody communist cav. Down they go. They've got their spades out. They've got their spades out for the lads. Bloody communist cav. Oops! Yamiras! <laughs> what were you doing with the enemy's communist cav? <laughs> what the shit? She was like, why was Yamira charging our lines with the enemy? <laughs> Something, something's gone terribly wrong. <laughs> sorry, Amira, sorry. Oh, yeah, there's only a few heavy machine gun rounds. Which ones are the enemies? <laughs> Which ones are the enemies? I suppose it doesn't truly matter. Is that an enemy? Yes, no, it actually was. Maybe this one? Oh, it is. <laughs> it's my lucky day. He's coming at me with a spade, he is. You Stalinist spade <laughs> What do you call a soldier armed with a spade? Hmm. We won, with only one dead. Oh, please don't be your mirror. No, she's fine. She's fine. She's a tough girl. It'll take at least four heavy machine gun rounds to bring her down. Yeah, she's a member of a certain socioeconomic class. She, she simply can't be shot, especially when on a horse. I mean, we've all been to university. We all know how it works. Right, an absolutely glorious victory. Is the other guy going to piss off? Can you just piss off other guy? Just go away. I can't be asked. Oh, well, you can wait, you can wait, right, I'm, I'm gonna besiege this fort, we can wait, we're allowed us to attack the walls. Amazing. So guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>